All right, guys, before we get going too far, it's pretty windy out today, so I'm gonna try to do most of this in the truck, but this is the load. We're up here in Virginia delivering real quick. I did get one of the new uh, Sorrentos that are on. Let me show you guys this real quick. This thing is awesome. Um, I, I like how they made the back end of these things look, and that they took the look of the K5 in the front, I think these things are a pretty good looking car. All right, if you guys can hear me over this wind, um, today's vlog is gonna be everything you need to know about hauling auction cars. So we're gonna get into that as soon as we get this unloaded and I'll see you guys in a little bit, thanks. All right guys, what's going on? We're back again. Um, before we finish unloading these cars, I wanna to talk to you before it got dark out because again, it, it gets dark a little early. We're into that time of the year again, but uh, I want to talk about auction work and, and the things that you probably need to know before you start getting into that end of the car hauling industry. Uh, there's a lot of money in auction work and you can do very good hauling auction cars, but um, there's also a lot of time spent. Um, auction work can be, in my opinion, one of the more profitable sides of hauling cars, but it's also um, one of the more difficult sides to get it profitable. Um, in that aspect is you have to get the dealers to haul for, um, which is gonna be phone calls, it's gonna be going knocking on their doors, it's gonna be introducing yourself because the dealers don't know who you are. So unless you get in front of them and cold call and, and like I said, introduce yourself, walk right in, shake their hands, start getting their work that way. Um, it, it's difficult. It's difficult to get that work. And the last thing you want is to be finding the dealers off of central dispatch because if they're already on some of these load boards like Central Dispatch, then they already know that they can get somebody cheaper than you. And if you need to raise your rates, it doesn't matter how good of a job you do for them, they'll drop you in a split second. Um, we had that happen to us years ago. I mean, we're going back five or six years ago when I owned my own trucks. Um, I, raised a, uh, I raised a dealership by $10 a car um, and, and where they were buying their cars was 600 miles away. So it, it's a day trip, one day up, one day back. So we were doing 45 to 50 cars a week for them. And we had been doing their work for probably, I'd say the better part of three to four years. And I'll tell you what, I turned around and I told them, I said, look, this is when fuel rates were starting to skyrocket again. We were getting up in that upper $3 a gallon range. And we had gotten them when fuel rates were down in the mid to lower $2 range. And and when that all happened, they turned around. The, fir the first thing they said is, well, you know what? We're going to have to start shopping around again because we can't afford to for you to transport our cars at that price. And, and they were a fairly, sorry, there's people walking. I squirrel, I get distracted. Um, they were a fairly larger dealership for us. And uh, that one hurt because they turned around and, and they did. They, they found someone for about five months to do their work cheaper. And then they went out of business and, and they're still getting their cars shipped. I, I see their stuff all the time. But uh, yeah, they were... They, they were scratched at the bottom of the barrel and that's what happens. Um, so that's something you got to really pay attention to. Finding finding the dealerships off of Central Dispatch, you can fill up with them and, and build a consistent clientele, but that's not, again, you're not going to be able to raise your rates. That Those rates are set by what other people would haul their stuff for before you. And most of the time, if they're on Central Dispatch, they don't care if it takes an extra couple days, that that that's a hard, um, that that that's a hard clientele to get. But if you can get the clients, where look, you meet them at the auction, you're there with your truck, 
and you're out there shaking hands, introducing yourselves um, at the Mannheims, at the Odessas, at the little mom and pops, all those type of places. You, you can start building up clientele that way. Another great way is to get in with the auctions. Forget, um, forget Mannheim with their ready auto dispatch bull BS um, because they're, they're just doing everything they can to steal your clients from you. So I, I wouldn't even worry about... They, you can get work through them, but that's not something that I personally would be concentrating on. Start going after those mom and pops. Um, get in good with them because a lot of times, look, they have the ins with the dealerships that are getting the cars to the auction. And now all of a sudden you're, you're hauling to an auction that you want to haul from. Well, if the dealers are sending cars from their lot to the auction, nine times out of 10, they're also buying at that auction to send back to their dealers. That's how you start working your way in. But something to think about when you're doing the auction work is now you have to wander through and pull all your cars to get them out to your truck, load them up. Obviously, same thing we do at all of our all the other uh, new cars and everything like that. Um, but it usually takes a lot longer. You're going to be at most auctions between four to six hours, which is something that I would really, really, really concentrate on finding a car puller. Um, or sometimes if you can get in really good with the auction and get to know the people that work at the auction, you can sometimes toss them a couple extra bucks to get your cars lined up so you can get them out quicker. But either way, get a car puller. Because if you can pull in, like, like if, if I'm coming in here and I'm at a truck stop, so I'm just gonna do this real quick. If I'm at a truck stop and I pull in, and right here next to my truck is where my cars are that I'm going to be focused, that I'm gonna be loading, then that takes me seconds to get back on my truck. I mean, I, I can, if my cars are sitting right here, nine cars I can have fully loaded in 45, 50 minutes tops. Um, and if you have a car puller, a lot of times you unload your nine cars, you load your nine cars, you're gonna take the nine that you have on, drop them right next to your truck, usually four or $5 a car to get them into the auction, sometimes eight or nine, but usually car pullers taking cars into the auction is a lot cheaper. And then you're gonna be talking uh, but anywhere between five and ten dollars a car for them to pull them out of the auction for you. So you got to think for you to unload at the auction and get all nine cars in. There's two hours gone for you to then pull your uh, pull all your cars. You got three to four hours of pulling all your cars, and then another hour and a half to load up. Forty five minutes to an hour and a half to load up. You've wasted an entire day at the auction. Got to remember, at the bare minimum, your truck needs to produce fifteen hundred dollars a day. So you have to price that in. Now, um, you take the cars to the dealerships. You need to mark all the damages that are on the cars at the auction because if you deliver them to the dealership and there's scratches and dents, they can come back after you if you haven't put them on, if you haven't written those scratches and dents on the gate passes. So there's a lot involved here. Um, but again, if you can turn around and get in with hauling cars to the auction and get with hauling cars back out of the auction and you're going back and forth five days a week, you are you could easily do between eight and twelve thousand dollars a week per truck if you hustle so again it's very good money but it can be difficult money to get into but once you've started to get a i guess like a foothold in that area then you can just start capitalizing you can start adding trucks you can start adding uh more dealerships on and drivers. Now drivers are a whole different subject, but those are all things you can start rolling into and that's how you can better your business, um, which at the end of the day, we're all out here trying to make more money. So as for getting into auctions, I was in them. I did a lot of auction work. I did a lot of new car work. I tended to haul for me a split of the two. I liked hauling knowing like my dealership would call me and say i've got cars at this auction and then i would call the new car yards and get a load to get me to that auction 
And that was kind of, for me, that was the best of both worlds. That's how it really worked out well for me. Um, again, that that's all, it's all stuff you have to decide for yourself. What do you want to get into? What kind of vehicles do you want to haul? Um, auction work, again, it's great work. You can make a lot of money at it, but you, you have to work at it. That is kind of the harder end of the spectrum to get into. Um, but guys, that's all I have for you today. I hope you liked this video. Please smash the like button. Please leave a comment in the comments below of what you think about the video. It's really helping me. I'm trying to curb these videos and make them better. Obviously, I bought a new camera. I'm hoping that's working better for you guys. I hope the audio is working better. Um, but again, smash that like button, guys, and the links below like always, is the Robinhood Investing app. I strongly recommend it. And the Get Upside app. That's a great app for saving money on your fuel or getting money back when you fuel. But guys, thank you. I love you. And I'll see you on the next one.